the 2K Sports pregame show. Are you ready to rise to the challenge here on the Rising Stars Challenge? Then come to 2K Sports. On behalf of the Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith, I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight, it'll be the Stars up against the Elites. They're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. And another of our fabulous all-star events, the Rising Stars Challenge. Teams composed entirely of first and second year players. Shaq, what does this game mean to these uh, young fellas? In the words of one of my good friends, Kenny Smith, you are an, a product of what you have seen growing up in your environment. These players have seen the likes of Kobe Bryant, all these guys before them. Now they're trying to establish themselves as a future NBA star. They got to go out there and have a good time. Well, I appreciate you quoting me, and I appreciate the experience. So you should never, never think that you should look back at this and say, just make the most of it. If you don't, you will regret it. Can you even remember when you were a first or second year player in this league? Yes, yes. I can. I Most. remember my first time walking out on an NBA basketball court, and I can remember plays in that game. And I remember making the first all-star all team. I beat out the great Patrick Ewan, and I knew I wasn't better than Patrick at that time, so when we had to take the team photo, and it's Mike, and it's Scotty, and it's all Dominique, guys touching at me, looking at me, you know, congratulating me, I was nervous, honey. The first time I was scared, because all the guys I grew up watching were right behind me. Wow. Just about time for tip-off. me chills. Yeah, me too. Let's uh, let's send it to Kevin Harlan. Hello, welcome everyone to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge. As we'll see the best and the brightest young players in the NBA face off with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan and Doris Burks on the sideline as well will be the stars off the tip. We've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for this one. On the court right now for the stars. They've got Wiggins, Okafor out there with Towns, then it's Moutier and it's Hezonia in at the two. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. Now, here is Russell. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins, Parker's shot is off. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, I was able to talk with Billy Donovan for a moment. Coach told me as much as he'd love to see some defense and good offensive sets, he knows that there won't be much of either in this one. He said the Rising Stars game is more about getting a look at all the young talent the NBA has to offer. Really, I'm just going to send them out to have some fun. Not a bad idea, guys. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. That one goes. Come. And there's no question he was going to be playing in this game because as far as a first or second year player goes, He's about as impactful as any in the league. That's exactly right. I mean, he's quickly become one of his team's most important players. For most guys, that can take years, but it's happened really fast for him. Smart misses. And, and it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Here's Russell following the basket by Emmanuel Moody. They set the pick. Russell kicks to Miritich. Takes the three. The shot is off. And it's the Stars the other way. You brought up the big stage. These young guys are on tonight. 
for so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. This is Demudia on the wing, Wiggins. Good! Wiggins has got seven points in the game. He leads trail by five. And for as much offense as the All-Star game features, I mean, the Rising Stars Challenge typically gives us even more scoring. I mean, this is an action-packed event year in and year out. Got freed up. Nice work off the pit. Embiid's got his first two points of the night. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. And it's Wiggins missing. You talked about, Greg, the high scoring in this game over the years, and there have been some incredible totals, often up in the 140s and higher. It was only a few years ago that the winning team what, scored 163 points. That's right. Yeah, I will never forget that. And uh -huh. it's part of what makes this game so fun. I mean, we don't come to the All-Star Week looking for great defense. We want to see these young fellas get out and run. The Elite shooting their first free throws of the game. First free throw is good. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. The Stars with the lead. Pass to Azania. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. No good. Now the elites take it the other way. Here's Russell. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now here's Smart. Not a lot of room. Six on the shot clock. Miritich sets the screen for Russell. Smart, wide open, he fires. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. And that ties it up. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. Now here's Moutier to the paint. Towns, the pass to Hazania, and that one's good. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. Now, here is Russell. Parker outside. Now, here's Smart, covered by Wiggins. The offensive rebound. And B, no good. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Wiggins with it, now guarded by Smart. Embiid against Okafor. Here's Wiggins, drops in the layup for two. Wiggins has got nine. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Clearly, they've been the aggressors thus far when it comes to attacking the interior in this first half. And they've gotten good looks, you know, so that's one reason they're frustrated. Maybe he can come up with something to get them an easy one, maybe get to the line. Yeah, you know, that may be the answer for them. But you know what else, Greg? Ultimately, I think because they're getting good shots, they'll make a better percentage of them going forward. of Nurkic. He's checked in for Joel Embiid. The Stars also with a sub. Clarkson's checked in.
Leeds trail by four. Right side, Russell. Here's Miritich. That's tipped. Now, here's Clarkson. He's guarded by Russell. Clarkson dishes to Okafor. Another shot. And it's good on the way up. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's Russell following the score by the Stars. The open shot by Smart. The Elites again can't hit it. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Parker outside. Feeds it to Russell. They set the pick. Now Parker. No good and tight defense there. Bothered that shot. And here's Clarkson. He kicks it to Okafor. The jump hook, and that one goes long. You know what? Those are shots you just hate to miss when you get those kinds of bunnies on a possession. And that's a well-contested shot. Well, we've seen him before. He does not allow you to just get easy baskets. He's always going to make you work for it. Leads trail by six. The drive by Russell. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. That's a nice drive there, Kevin. He beat the lone defender and was wide open under the hoop. Clarkson with the ball. Picked by Okafor. Clarkson kicks to Okafor. And out of bounds as the elites gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And some changes here for the elites. Johnson, he's checked in for Jabari Parker. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Smart. The Stars also with the sub. Rosingas has checked in. Miritich the screen. Galloway kicks to Miritich. Wide open. Galloway with the bucket. Love the work there. They got the most out of that possession. And it's the Stars ball. Wiggins outside. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Wiggins has got 11 points. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Miritich, the screen. Galloway, the pass to Miritich. Shot's good. Miritich has got his second basket. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Wiggins outside. There's 138 left to play in the first quarter. It's stolen by Johnson. To the left side wing. Outside, Russell. It's good. This game is all even. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there, and a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. It's stolen. That's good, and so Galloway with the assist. Six points for D'Angelo Russell. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one they want. Now here's Wiggins, 11 points in the game. And it's in, basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Now oh, six of eight from the field, 75%. Just scoring the ball at will. Galloway kicks to Nurkic. Miritich dishes to Russell. Here's Galloway. And the three off target. 
17 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. The feed to Wiggins. Passes it to Clarkson. Now here's Towns. He's guarded closely. That's good. 15 points for Andrew Wiggins. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. And Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Stars lead by two. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And we're back once again, the spotlight on the talented first and second year players here in the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play, and they are putting on a show. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. The elites trailing. We've got Joel Embiid. Jabari Parker is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Galloway in at the one. That's the group in the game right now for the elites. Embiid, no good. And this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. The Stars have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. No good on that one. And he sinks the second. He leads trail by three. The pass to Bogdanovich. He feeds it to Ingles. He dishes it to Galloway. Clock at four. The high post shot, and good on the basket. Book it. Galloway has got his second bucket. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Pass to Persingas. The dish to Mudia. <laughs> Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Stars. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Another thing they've been doing so far tonight is knocking down the jump shot. Thank you. 
So he can't get either to fall. Here's Galloway. To the middle. Got a piece of it. Here's Bogdanovich. From outside, off the mark. The Stars with the lead. Grant outside. Kaminsky sets the pick for Grant. And the rejection by Embiid. Shots good by Turner. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Galloway, the pass to Embiid, and the powerful one-handed slam. Solid on the one-hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why, I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. Making a change here. Smarts checked in. Here's the screen. Moutier with a screen for Grant. To the inside. For Zingas, and that one's good. And two teammates there hooking up on that bucket. Always a little bit of an advantage to have guys out there who know each other. It sure is. I mean, it eliminates some of that getting to know you feeling out period. Kicks it to Ingles. Now here's Smart. Dishes to Bogdanovich. And he dunks it down. And, guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. But it's only two points. I mean, it was flashy, no doubt. But still, it only counts for two. Two is all. Kaminsky sets the pick for Grant. Down to five on the shot clock. Drills the three-pointer. And the Stars lead by four. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. They set the pick. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now smart. Ingles kicks to Bogdanovich. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Moutier dishes to Grant. Turner with a screen for Grant. From 13, will not go. This is off the front eye. Smart passes to Ingles. Embiid the screen. Smart kicks to Embiid, and he uses both hands to jam it in. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Man, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. Feeds it to Grant. And here's Moutier. Pass to Persingas. Beyond the arc. And the Stars, another three. That's two bombs in a row from long range. Let's face it, the defense is a step slow. You've got to take away the airspace. Now the feed to Ingles. To the left wing. And the pass to Bogdanovich. Launches a three. Ingles can't get it to go. 
I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Now, here's Moutier. D right on him. Down low. Here's Kaminsky. Sweet move. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got four rebounds in this game. Smart with the ball. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. You know, a huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. And the elites will go with a different look here. Norkic checked in for Embiid. Heritic comes in for Jabari Parker. Johnson, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. And it's Russell in for Bogdanovich. A tight game here in New York. Clarkson kicks to Wiggins. And stolen by Miritic. Johnson dishes to Miritic. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for him. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. Wiggins drawn the double team. And Towns the bucket on the assist by Wiggins. And the Stars lead by two. Well, well, he knew how many inches he had over the guy. I mean, let's face it. Good decision to just rise up and take the jump shot. The drive by Russell. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go, but it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Now, here's Clarkson. He's guarded by Russell. Wiggins against Johnson. All alone. And that one good from Clarkson. Clarkson's got his second bucket of the night. Clark, this tug-of-war game continues. You know what? And they just keep flip-flopping the lead again and again and again. And, guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Here's Nurkic. And Okafer with the block. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And, Greg, we've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Russell kicks to Miritich. The elites again can't hit it. So it's the Stars now. Inside, here's Towns. Rebound by Nurkic. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. Here's Azania on the wing, Wiggins. Baseline jumper. Good. Wiggins has got 17. Kevin, he's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. He's been very effective so far.
Jackson Galloway's checked in for the elites. Here's Russell. He's got nine. A picture-perfect screenplay, and the jumper's good. Russell's got 11 points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Hey, I like creativity and a circus finish as much as anybody. But you better be sure you got a chance to make it. Galloway, the pass to Nurkic. The dish to Miritich. And a strong finish with two hands. Mark, eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. You know, both teams showing a lot of resilience, I think. Coming back and coming back, back and forth, back and forth. Reminds me of a song. Yeah, Kevin, that's cameo, uh, to be exact. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. Back to Okafer. Shot clock at six. Here's Azania. He's guarded by Russell. Hazania's shot is off. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Pass to Russell. Miritich inside. He's against Okafor. Miritich gets the bucket. The Stars trail by three. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. i got to find something. You're right. Uh, not a lot in the way of defense here tonight, but, you know, that's about the norm. Yep, this game is always going to be about offense, about entertaining these fans as much as possible. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yeah, it is unfortunate, embarrassing. He just lost his concentration for a split second, and that's all it took. Miritic, the screen. Galloway kicks to Nurkic. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. The Elite shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yusa Nurkic. Two shots. The first free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Now, here's Clarkson. Here's Towns. He kicks it to Clarkson. One second left. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. The Elite's on top, up three. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to the Halftime Show. Nothing quite like the Rising Stars Challenge to bring out the best in the, in the Diesel and in Kenny the Jet. And so far, guys, this year's game turning out to be a pretty closely contested battle. You can see these young players are not shy of competing. They want the bragging rights and aren't afraid to bring a little flair to show the fans how much this game means to them. Well, you just got to love to see such crazy talent out here. The format has been mixed up over the years, and no matter how they put the team together, it's always a big-time game. You get to see teammates playing against each other sometimes. Always fun for everyone involved. And one of the things I always like is the speed of this game, and the youth really showcases a lot of energy. The up and down pace lets everyone show off what they can do on the floor. It's a great way to see how they match up against each other. That's going to do it for now as the second half is just about ready to get started. We'll see you later.
And we now return to the Rising Stars Challenge, a great night for young fans and the best young players in the NBA. Oh, to be young and athletic, just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game, and that excitement comes out onto the court. Here's who Eric Spolstra is starting the second half with. Towns is out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then it's Moutier. Then there's Okafor. And it's Hezonia in at the two guard. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill. Didn't give him a chance. Wiggins drives in. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Wiggins. The elites leading. Outside, Russell. Sweet little floater. Russell's got 13. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Azania. He nails it. And we're tied up. Five points in the game. And they've got to talk to you, each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make a pay. Russell high post. He's got 13, and that one's good. Russell's got four points now in the quarter. Wow, you don't see him make plays like that very often. That's a nice move there for the basket. Kicks it to Wiggins. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. He used that pick to get in close. Towns has got the game tied up here for the Stars. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. Here's Russell. Rebounded by the Stars. Now, Moutier. Okafer sets the pick for Moutier. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And the Stars, another three. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. They get it back. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. The elites have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. Joel Embiid at the line for two. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. Terrific work by MB. He's got eight points and also a block shot. Moutier dishes to Wiggins. Nine feet out. The shot is off. Excellent D there from Parker. This offense is first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Smart passes to Russell. To the paint. Here's MB. And he jams it with authority. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And, and I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely <laughs> threw that one down. Wiggins drives in. That's good. Wiggins has got seven points for the quarter. Everything working for him out of the half as they've hit four of their first five shots. It's stolen by Moutier. Right around three minutes into the second half. Okafor kicks to Moutier. Picked by Okafor. Moutier, no good. 
Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Parker dishes to Embiid. And Okafor with the block, but he recovers it. Embiid against Okafor. Embiid kicks to Smart. Dishes it to Miritich. Parker outside. Clock at six. Second shot opportunity. Off the left rim and out. The Stars with the lead. Pass to Wiggins. Picked by Okafor. Wiggins drawn the double team. Passes it to Hazania. He feeds it to Okafor. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. And the Stars lead by four. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. No way to mess that one up, Kevin. I mean, he powered it down with both hands. Not this guy. He is a superb finisher. And when he gets near the hoop, guys, he is a tour de force. Picked by Okafor. Moutier pass to Wiggins. Embiid with the steal. Outside, Russell. Down low. And Embiid throws it down. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Parker dishes to Russell. Feeds to Embiid. Screened by Russell. Embiid kicks to Parker. Shot clock at six. For the lead. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And he has slipped into a fall, Clark. You can see the confidence is shaken. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he's very much deflated. The basket looks a lot smaller to him at this point, And the only way you can get out of it is to work yourself out of it. We'll go with a different look here. Norkic checked in for Embiid. Johnson comes in for Miritich. Bogdanovich is checked in for Smart. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Russell. And a new group getting ready now for the Stars. Turner's checked in for Okafor. Porzingis comes in for Towns. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Hazania. And it's Grant in for Moutier. Galloway, the pass to Norkic. Another shot, and uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Stars. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've also jumped on any opportunity they've had to attack the basket tonight. I mean, excellent penetration. He doesn't get the second one. And here is Grant. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Clarkson with the ball. On the wing, Wiggins. Five to shoot. Wiggins drawn the double team. 
Here's Clarkson. Rebound by Parker. Parker's got his third rebound on the night. Galloway kicks to Nurkic. He dishes it to Galloway. Back to Norkic. Parker outside. For the lead. Rebound the Stars. Turner's got three rebounds so far in the game. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Shots good by Clarkson. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Yeah, and, and that's important because this game may ultimately come down to which team controls the paint in crunch time. The feed to Parker. And it's denied. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been there. Grant dishes to Turner. Wiggins drives in. Grant gets a wide open look. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists now in this one. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Screen by Nurkic. Here's Galloway. Softly drops in the photo. Galloway has got six points. Uh-oh, a little showboating at the end of that one. He's checked in for Jabari Parker. The Stars also with a sub. Kaminsky is checked in for Andrew Wiggins. Nurkic against Turner. Down low. Here's Persingis. Yeah, just nice strength there and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, Greg, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. It's his first trip to the line. The first free throw is good. both. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, as cool as can be, Clark. Great focus and efficiency. That's how they built this lead. Galloway, it's deflected. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. The second chance effort sinks it, and the shot from Persingas. Persingas has got nine. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. You've got to get your body between that other player and the ball. Here's Galloway. He's covered by Grant. Nurkic can't hit. Just tentative in the paint, lacking a little bit of confidence, allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. Grant the pass to Persingas, and the lead now. Double digits on that bucket. 11 points in the game. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It, it really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their pass. Galloway kicks to Bogdanovich. Pulls it from 20. The Stars with the rebound. 
Kaminsky's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Krantz and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. At the line for the elites, Jared Grant. At the line for two. All right, now, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Grant. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 35 seconds left in the third quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. Galloway, the pass to Nurkic. Turner with the steal. Here's Przingis. Now, here's Clarkson. He's got six. That drops. Clarkson's got four this quarter. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Galloway. And no good trying to get that one. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Stars lead by 14. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Welcome back to the Rising Stars Challenge, a showcase for the up-and-coming stars of the NBA. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoying playing together and against each other. Miritich is out there with Embiid. Then there's Smart. Then it's Russell. And it's Ingles in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game right now for the elites. Leads trail by 14. Outside, Russell. And the pass to Embiid. Got a hand on it, and they'll keep possession. Miracic gets the bucket. Now, Moutier. Wiggins outside. Plays it up and banks it in. Wiggins has got the lead up to 14 now for the Stars. And an open path to the hoop there. Easy bucket. We've seen that far too many times today. They set the pick. Miritich the screen. Russell with a wide open look. And the three ball is good. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Moutier kicks to Wiggins. The dish to Moutier. Okafor sets the pick for Moutier. Picked by Okafor. Moutier passes to Towns. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. And the Stars lead by 13. And here's Smart out to the right wing. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. That one goes. Count it. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. Wiggins outside. Wiggins drawn the double team. Towns with it. Now guarded by Miritic. He had a nice open look right there. Six points for Emmanuel Moutier. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Not sure if it's been by design or simply by accident, but either way, it has been impressive. Count it, and the Stars' lead has been cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Russell. Wow, and how huge has he been today, really just giving his team a nice lift. Yeah, and he's kept them close enough to 
be within striking range. I mean, the deficit would be much larger if not for the efficiency of his play. Miritich, the screen. For the three. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Miritich has got it back down to single digits for the elites. Now the Stars with it. They've led by as many as 14 points. They set the pick. High arcing shot. Pazania's shot is off. Pazania's gone just two for eight from the field. Right there at 25%. And it's Russell missing. And the Stars leading by nine. Pass to Moutier. Pick by Okafor. Here's Wiggins. And once again off the mark by the Stars. And with room like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. Mirotic, great positioning on the putback. Mirotic has got seven now in this quarter. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. And Wiggins gets it to go on the assist for Moutier. And that's now 30 points for Andrew Wiggins. He leads trail by nine. Catch up with Doris from the sideline. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Billy Donovan said to the team. He made no mistake that their plan was to run their offense through Miritich. Coach is looking for him to take on a lot of responsibility when they've got the ball, to be a leader at the offensive end. It's pretty late in the game to be altering the game plan, but they're going to come out with a different look here, guys. Back to you. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. That's good. Miritic has got nine points now in just the second half. Buckets, but he should have just gone straight up with it instead of trying to fade away. Kicks it to Moutier. Shoots from 14. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Just such a good shooter from that range. And you factor in his height advantage. Uh, it's almost unfair. You're smart. A rebound by Hazania. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. MB, no good. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. And, Greg, that's exactly what he gives you. I mean, he's constantly making his presence felt around the rim. He leads trail by nine. Dishes it to Smart. Screen by Russell. Smart kicks to Miritic. The 11-footer, good from the moment it left his hand. That makes him 10 for 14. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it?
elites on D, seven point differential. Moutier with the ball. Pass to Azania. No good. Nice D from Russell. To the inside. And there's MB. That's good on the assist by Russell. Russell's got his eighth assist here tonight. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. This is when the defenders really have to protect the basket. You need to be in sync as a unit defensively. Here's Smart. He kicks it to Miritich. Passes to Parker. Screened by Russell. Parker dishes to Smart. Six to shoot. Let's it go. No good off the back of the rim. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Picked by Okafor. Feeds it to Mudia. And stolen by Miritich. Parker with it. Now defended by Moutier. Now here's Smart. Miritic the screen. Now Smart. Five on the clock. That one goes. Come. Now just a three-point Stars lead. And I like how he draws the attention on the inside and then the nice little kick out in rhythm for the jumper. Here's Azania. Picked by Okafor. To the middle. Takes it off the glass. And the Stars lead by five. Oh, I love that dish down low. To the middle. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. That free throw missing. Boy, the struggles at the line this half really starting to haunt them. You just cannot afford to miss free throws. It's like skipping breakfast. At some point in time, it's going to come back to hurt you. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for the Stars. And he's good on the second. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Riggins outside. Picked by Okafor. There's a screen. Clarkson passes to Hazania. Off the pick. And right on target. Good. He hasn't really done much on the offensive end. But he's worked within the team concept to help them get the lead. He's done some other things other than scoring to help his team get the lead here. Russell kicks to Miritich. Nice follow through on the fadeaway. Miritich has got 13 points now in the quarter. No matter what the score is, his attitude has been perfect. I love his disposition. He has stayed in attack mode. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up.
Here's Wiggins. Second chance shot, and Okafor with the layup. Okafor's got four points in the quarter. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Andrew Wiggins really making a difference here. He's on fire. And they needed to put their heads together to figure out how to get the ball out of his hand. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Miritich. Okafor grabs the miss. Okafor's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Azania. He's guarded by Russell. Here's Wiggins. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. How about Wiggins in this one? He's got 30 points and a decent little assist total for him, too. No doubt they'd like to see that carry over to the rest of the team. Get good assist numbers all the way around. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Yeah, saw some things that just weren't working for them and wants to make some adjustments. Yeah, and no reason to wait around to do that, Greg. I mean, might as well make those adjustments right away. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth. The feed now to Miritich. He dishes it to Embiid. And Okafor with the block. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. The defensive backboard has been controlled. They have not allowed a lot of second chances. It's been about one and done for the most part. And I'm not talking about leaving college. Yeah, I know you're not. That's a, a bunch of good rebounding taking place there, boy. And, and they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. The pass to Smart. There's the triple. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. And, and that's good stuff from him. Nice touch. Smart's gone one of two, shooting from three. They set the pick. Clarkson kicks to Wiggins. Wiggins drawn the double team. There's the dish to Clarkson. Four on the shot clock. Elbow shot. The shot will not go. Now the elites take it the other way. This game's finally gotten away from them. Yeah, it certainly has. I mean, there's not really much they can do at this point. That's his first personal foul. Taking two shots. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Yeah. 
And the second of two is good. And that trims the lead to six. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his second personal foul. At the line for the elites, Jordan Clarks taking two shots. Gets the first one, and that makes it a seven point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight point game. Russell kicks to Smart. Outside Russell. Heritage has a wide open look. Another miss by the Elites. Here's Azania. And here's Clarkson. So the Stars end up winning it. What a terrific game. I tell you what, these young players are going to give us years of excitement to come. The future of the NBA is looking very bright with these guys, Kevin. Terrific young players. It sure is. You're right, Greg. And this really was a fun contest to watch, as it always is. We hope you've all enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks so much for joining us. For Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game, Andrew Wiggins. Just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. Well, as Dr. O'Neal predicted, I knew he'd be the star of the Rising Stars Challenge this year. Told you that 10 times already, Kenny. So much great young talent on the floor, but this kid stole the show with the display he put on. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economical because there was no wasted opportunities. He took advantage of every good look he got. I mean, everything he put up was going in. And that wraps up our coverage of the Rising Stars game here on 2K Sports for Kenny the Jet and Shaquille O'Neal and for Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K Sports crew. This is Ernie Johnson. We look forward to seeing you again as the second half of the NBA season gets underway.